Soft Comply Risk Manager Plus on Jira Cloud is the most comprehensive risk app that supports a wide range of risk management methods. In this video, we will go through the main steps of how to use object registers. Object registers are ideal when you want to keep a central repository of data like hazards, assets, or controls in your risk management app. You can then manage these data sets across your organization while keeping the list continuously up to date. It will also make it easier for you and your team to add a link of these items to your risks. From the main apps menu, select Risk Manager Plus and then click on the object registers. You will see some ready-made registers. When you click on the name of the register, you will see the details of the objects that this register contains, and you will be also able to edit the data. You can edit the existing register structure by clicking on the pen sign. This brings you to the configuration page where you can add or remove details to be captured about the objects. You can also build your own register. Click on the Create New Object Register button. Let's create a central asset list as an example. Start by defining a name for your register, and if needed, you can apply an owner to the register and users that can modify the data within register. Initially, key and title are the minimum required information about the object. Further details can be added to better describe your objects. Click on the Add New Field button. You can add fields to contain short or long text, numbers. You can define a colleague who is responsible for this object and you can add date field to capture important milestones for the object. Let's create a couple of additional fields for this register. Select a suitable field type and assign a title to it. Using the select box for each detail you can define if this information about about the object will be visible in your risk table. Usually it is sufficient to show the key and the title of the object. Now the structure of the register is ready, and we can start adding objects to this register. Click on Add New Value below the list and enter the objects and the relevant details. Data that will be available under Linked Issues and Scope Fields will be explained a bit later in this video, once we have started using the objects within a RISC project. To start linking the objects to RISCs in your RISC management project, there are a couple of steps we need to take first. Once a register is created, the next step is to activate this field in your risk table. Open risk tables and click on the table template where you want to add the new register to. Then click Add New Column. Scroll to the Object Register field and select the register name that you wish to use. Name the column so that you will recognize it in the risk table. If the risk table is already assigned to a project, a notification appears next to the register field to inform you that the selected register is not assigned to the same project yet. To do that, navigate back to the object registers and assign the register to be used in the same project. Now, after accessing the project and opening the risk table view, you can start creating the risks as usual. Now you will be able to pick any object from the register and connect it to a relevant risk. Once you have started to link the risks to relevant objects, you can also see all of these links from the Object Register Central view. Every risk that has been linked to a specific object will appear in the Object Register view under Linked Issues. If there are objects in the list that are not applicable to this specific project, you can also select the scope for the objects in the list or simply hide it. Now your object register is ready to be used by everyone who is managing risks in your organization. You can also check out on how to customize an advanced risk management table, turning it into the central hub for all your risks. If you wish to learn how to set up your risk models and risk tables, and how to start managing your risks in a project, please check out our other tutorial videos in Softcomply's YouTube channel.